Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario RPG playthrough. Last time we finished up Booster Tower and now we are here in the town of Marymore, the marriage capital of the USA or the Mushroom Kingdom or whatever the hell this place is. Uh, so before we go to the wedding chapel, let's go ahead and explore some of this area. We were about to begin the ceremony when some ki kids in dark clothes kicked us out. Help! Oh, hey, it's the Toad Couple from Mushroom Kingdom. Booster's wedding is in progress. We're barricading the door, so don't even bother trying to sneak inside. There, I think that's the one who kicked us out. Oh, no. You guys, what's wrong? This was supposed to be my wedding day. All my plans have been ruined. It was my dream to stay at the suite after we got married. Who's the cuckoo blue and screaming it's time for my wedding? Just who does he think he is? Who's the guy in the scraggly beard? He and Princess Peach were... No, don't tell me. They're getting married? This must be a first. A perfect couple who isn't going to live happily ever after. I give up. I came all the way over here to get these two a proper send-off. And look what happens. Hmm... Looks like he needs to go somewhere fast. Well, I mean, there's a perfectly good inn. I'm sure there's a bathroom somewhere in there. That would be my guess, anyway. I'm the best photographer around. Would you like a wedding portrait? Well, I saw some people who looked like chefs go into the wedding hall through the back way. Weird, huh? Okay, so there is actually a back way in here that we can use. But before we actually do this, let's go ahead and check out the... Uh, Mary Moore Sweet, because there are some things worth mentioning here. Isn't this just splendid? This place is heaven for even the rich and famous. Oh, honey, please, can we stay in the suite? Please? This place is known for its exquisite service, especially in the suite, but it's a tad pricey. So, yeah, well, I'll go over that later. But, yeah, you can climb uh, the hotel and check out some of the amenities. This is where the suite is, but you can't actually get in here. Hello, how may I help you? Okay, he's just someone who works at the hotel. Um, but if you go in this room right here, uh, there is actually a hidden treasure chest. And it's just up here. It's a frog coin. And hey, this guy is here too. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Heard there's a casino where you can get big prizes, but I just can't find the place. Does it really even exist? I don't know. I guess it could. Usually in RPGs, if they call attention to something like that, it must exist somewhere. Hello, how may I help you? Okay, so you're another worker. So if you talk to this guy right here, um, you can stay the night at the hotel if you go to the rest a while option. Or you can actually buy some things here too. And uh, there is a nice shop, has a lot of items. You can buy mid mushrooms and maple syrups. Um, you can also buy in the next set of weapons for all of your characters. Now, here's the thing with Mario and Bowser's weapons. As you can see, they don't actually boost what we currently have. The Masher actually outclasses the Super Hammer. Uh, the Super Hammer is more consistent in terms of the damage it deals, but the Masher will ultimately do more damage. So, only get the Super Hammer if you want to check it out. I may get it later, uh, because I think you can get it somewhere else. But uh, for the most part, the Masher is better than it. Uh, the Fake Chomp is basically just the Chain Chomp item we already have. But it's uh, one attack point weaker. But it's essentially the same thing. So if you didn't get it at Booster Tower, you can also buy it here. But let's go ahead and buy Mallow and Geno's weapons. So we'll go ahead and buy that. Equip that. Buy this. Equal that. And then you can also get the next uh, levels of armor for all of your characters. And uh, I think it is actually recommended to just go ahead and get all of these. I might have to sell a few things, though. So I'll go ahead and sell um, all these things, because I don't really need them anymore anyway. Uh, I'm not going to sell any of those things, though. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and buy... All of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And then you can also sell these. Um, you may not want to sell the work pants, because the work pants, again, are kind of decent at least. But uh, for the most part, though, I'm not going to do anything with that for right now. But yeah, I think we're pretty pretty good here. You can also sell some other items if you don't you know, want to use these anymore. But I'll go ahead and keep them at least for right now. So yeah, we're pretty much uh, back up to... Uh, or back up to our, you know, best uh, weapons and armors, at least for right now. Um, but yeah, as far as staying at the hotel, again, you can uh, stay at just the normally priced room. So there's a 10 coin room, and then there's the suite, which is 200 coins, which we clearly don't have enough to stay there, but we'll probably be staying in the suite later anyway. So we'll, we'll showcase that later on. But the regular room is just a standard end room, so stay there if you want. But again, if you want to stay somewhere for free, just go back to Mario's Pad or Rose Town, because you can stay for free at any of those places. So let's go ahead and save our game. And let's actually go to the Marymore Chapel to see if we can stop this wedding once and for all. I'm not letting you in here, and you can't forget about, and you can forget about the back entrance. It's locked. At least, I think it is. Well, we'll see about that. Ah, there we go. We found it. Okay, so we made it inside the wedding chapel anyway. It looks like, oh, here's the chefs. We bake a cake for the big wedding. It must be masterpiece. Yeah, the groom-to-be ordered something special. Wait until he sees this. Ah, uh, what a lovely cake. Let's step on it. What, what, what are you doing? Oh, that's nice. You just stepped on the... You fools! I always find that funny. See, I'll even do it again. <laughs> okay, so that's apparently the wedding cake. <clears throat> Halt! Who goes there? You look like Mario, but the door is shut tight. Listen, mustache. You and your overgrown turtle friend can take a hike. Go, scat. Make like a Mario and jump out of here. Get lost. Oops. Uh, we got a problem. I better go tell Booster. It won't budge. Say, want to help me bust this door down? On the count of three, we'll run together. Timing's the key. Ready? Here we go. So yeah, you gotta basically run at the door. There we go. <clears throat> Booster, sir. Mario's here. You clowns, you don't break a door down when we're entering a room. Shut it, shut it now. Move it, move it. Mario, is that you, Mario? I'm in here. Hurry, get me out of here. Oh no. We're pretty sure Mr. Mustache can't break in here. But that turtle looks mean. He could be in trouble. They have no idea who they're up against. I'm lightning in a bottle. I'm an earthquake in a can. I'll bust this open in no time. I'll help him out in a minute. <clears throat> so yeah, we gotta do basically the same thing again. So let's keep uh, busting that door down. Let me make sure that my party is ready though. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. <clears throat> Ow! Watch what you're doing! Great. I've dropped everything. My shoes, my ring, my brooch, and my crown. Booster, sir. Booster, I, um... Don't bother me now. Okay, everyone, the bride is growing impatient. Let the wedding begin. 
What's this? Water? Coming from your eyes? Are you leaking, my dear? Tastes salty. Booster, sir, I uh, believe that the bride may be uh, crying. Crying? But that's what people do when they're sad? How disgusting. That stuff must be corrosive. It tastes like the sea. What could be making her cry anyway? I believe she's crying because she's dropped some of her wedding gear. Aha, of course. But those tears will ruin the cake. Make her stop before Mario breaks in. But Mario's already in. Booster, sir, we have to find her things. The wedding can't go on without them. We're still waiting on the cake, too. 10-4, good buddy. You find her stuff. I'll move the ceremony forward. Hurry. Booster, sir, you're supposed to be on the right. The bride should be on your left. Just testing. Like this, right? Booster, sir, I found the ring. Here, booster, here's the brooch. Booster, sir, I found the shoes. Hey, wait, wasn't there one more thing? You're right, the crown. Uh-oh, they're lighting the candles. Hurry and get back the accessories from the snifters and save Princess Peach. If you're quick, something good might happen. Okay, so if you do this quickly, talk to all the Sniffets, get all the items back, get the crown from on top of Booster's head, and then talk to Booster to end the minigame. Ho ho, here it is. Hey, you're Mario. So, you've come to crash my wedding, I presume. Mario. You're finally here. Eek! What's Bowser doing here? What a waste of time. I've got bigger fish to fry. I know I'm in good hands when you're around, Mario. Here's a kiss for my hero. Oh, isn't that great? You're gonna kiss him? When I'm the one who saved your skin? Me too. I want a reward. I'll take a kiss. Give me a kiss! Stop it, all of you. I'm getting so confused. This is for you, Mario. Well, would you look at that. Mario gets the kiss that he's always wanted. And... Oh, boy. Well, that's got to be awkward. <laughs> now, there's one for the scrapbook. Come on, Mario. Let's get back to the Mushroom Kingdom. The Chancellor's waiting for us. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of different results you can get for that minigame. If you're fast enough, you'll get the Mario getting kissed by Peach. But if you're uh, too slow, you can get Bowser kissing Mario. You can get Booster kissing Mario. I think you can also get Booster and Bowser kissing Mario. But those are the only results. I'll show them on screen right here. But uh, I'm only going to do that once for the good results, so there you go. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We've made the most amazing cake. You won't believe it. Here is the cake, but where are bride and groom? Where is everyone? This is big trouble. The bride is leaving? You're taking the bride away? But there won't be anyone to eat the cake. What? This can't be. We worked all day on it. You fools! Okay, well, we gotta battle the wedding cake. So yeah, for the wedding cake, um, you can't actually attack it. Well, actually, you can't attack it right now. But basically, um, you have uh, the two chefs and then the cake itself. Um, the chefs will not take any damage, so don't even bother attacking them. So just focus on hitting the cake for right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, thought peek the chefs. 
as you can see they have no weaknesses and no HP this is not pound cake so stop pounding it okay so I think that's the only you only have to use the thought peak on one of them so don't worry about doing it anywhere else Now we're going to use the Thought Peak on Bunt itself. Congratulations. <clears throat> and after you damage the cake enough, as you can see, it's kind of facing towards us now. Ouch, ouch, what are you doing? Chef Tort, the cake's moving. Vas is not moving. Back to work. I know it was moving. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of cycling around there. Uh, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to switch out Mallow here in a second. switch him out for Geno uh, just so I can start using uh, Geno boost um, first I'm going to use it on Mario though. just because Mario has been damaged a little bit <clears throat> poke 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 Ouch, ouch, now Vot. Chef Tort, the cake's moving. Talk no more of Zeus. No, really, truly, why would I lie? Because you are an idiot. See, it is not moving. Huh? The cake's alive, run. See, I was right. Attack with A to blow the candles out. I'm actually going to check this out because I don't know if this will actually work. But let me try using the triple move here. Because I actually wonder if like it, if it counts as one actual attack or if it counts as multiple attacks. And if that will actually work with the, uh, the main physics of this. doesn't seem like that's the case though. So basically, as you can see, um, all the candles on the cake are lit. And uh, whenever you attack the cake with a physical attack, you'll actually blow one of the candles out. And whenever the cake attacks you, um, if you don't perfectly guard the uh, command, uh, one of the cake candles will actually light back up. So you have to pretty much keep attacking the cake to blow out all the candles and that's basically how this fight works I, I do kind of want to use uh, Gino boost on Gino here but I'm gonna actually go ahead and risk it just to get some extra attacks in That attack we just saw was called Pain Spout. I believe Pain Spout's supposed to be Drain Beam. It was Drain Beam in the original game, but it's Pain Spout in this game. Which is kind of an interesting, you know, rename. But that is what that attack is, pretty much. Uh, so we should be good here. Might have to go one more round, though. Okay, yeah, we got this. So once all the candles are um, blown out, one more attack should actually continue the fight. So now we have to face Raspberry, the second tier of the cake. I'm going to go ahead and bring Mallow back so we can Thought Peek it. It's actually weak to jump, believe it or not. 
Congratulations. <clears throat> so yeah. Now we just have to take out the rest of this cake. And I believe we are actually done. Maybe we ought to wait. This is Booster's wedding cake. You'll have a fit if we nibble on it. Hey, number one, where's my cake? Booster, sir? There's a 70% chance the object you're standing on is a cake. This thing's my cake? Okay, everyone, here's the stumper. How do we eat this? I say we boil it. Number two, what do you say? Way too messy. Why don't you just swallow it? What, in one gulp? That's easier said than done. Come on, Booster. You can do it. Open wide, please. My nerves are shot. Man, oh man. I feel like I've forgotten to tie my cord before a bungee jump. Here it comes. Wait, wait! Did the cake just move? Concentrate, sir. This doesn't feel right. Hmm. Delicious. Hang on, I'm feeling a feeling. Yes, yes. It's so good it makes me want to cry. Congratulations, sir. The wedding is now officially over. Thanks, everyone. That's a wrap. Let's go. And there we go. We've beaten the cake. Hooray, we've destroyed a wedding cake. That was wonderful, Mario. You're my knight in shining armor. Finally, let's get back. Oh, what a day. Can you believe it? I almost got married to that thing. But I hope someone marries me someday. Well, Peach, you have someone who's very eager to do that right in front of you. Peach, Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, has joined the party. Be sure to bring her back safely. And there we go. So let's go ahead and leave the chapel. Mario! That creepy guy just left. Does that mean we can go on with our wedding? Oh, Raz, I'm so happy. Let's get this wedding over with so we can stay in the suite and then go on our honeymoon. Let's do it. All right, you'll have to excuse us. Okay, everyone. We're going to start this from the beginning. Back inside, please. So now, if we go back in to the wedding chapel, we can actually see them, you know, currently having their wedding, which is really nice. And with that, Mario has blessed this holy union. You can also talk to a lot of the NPCs here, too. Yes, indeed. Tis a melody of celebration, composed by the one and only Todovsky. And yes, I did I did find out that it is Todovsky. I keep thinking Toad of Sky, but no, it's Todovsky. Hey, what are you doing? I love doing that. <laughs> And it is actually important to talk to some of the NPCs here because some of the dialogue is actually going to be important for later in the game. Shh, quiet now. It's lovely, isn't it? Rainy's so beautiful. She's so gorgeous. I can't take it anymore. Looks like he had to go somewhere and go fast. That Raz, he found himself a real peach. No, peach is peach. 
You got the names wrong. <laughs> it's our turn next. I wish the people before us would hurry up. We've been waiting for 30 minutes now. I mean, weddings aren't exactly quick ceremonies or anything. But yeah, if you also talk to some of the people out here, you can also get some other information. Oh man, is it over yet? I hate getting my picture taken. Honey, I don't want you to wander off too far now. We're finally man and wife. I wish those two a wonderful life together. Hope they don't fight too often. Pipe down and relax. I wish it were ski season. It's going to be held here? This is absolutely gorgeous. I came to see where the wedding is going to be held. For my honeymoon, I was thinking of going to Seaside Town. Okay, so before we leave, um, as you can tell, we do actually have Peach in our party now. And uh, you can, you know, if you want to, you can put her in your party. But you're not going to be able to fight with her just yet. But still, she is in your party. And you can start getting her some items, too. So, like... She has a lovely dress already given to her. She has a slap glove, which is basically just something that gives her a little extra fighting power. And you can also put something else on her if you want to. It's really up to your discretion. Um, I did want to go back here, though, because I, I think there is actually something that I didn't really uh, mention earlier. But if uh, you go to the accessories, you can actually get the Nurture Ring, which... Um, I believe the nurturing. It used to be the B tub ring in the original game. And um, it's basically. It has two other functions as well. Uh, for one, it's kind of like the booster charm, where it actually halves elemental attack damage. Um, but it also has to do with another item we'll get later in the game that you can get later in the game. And um, I'll talk about that later when we actually get that item. Uh, for now, though, I'm not going to buy it. I mean, we can't even buy it anyway. But uh, that is something to keep in mind. But with that over, we can actually finally take Princess Peach back to the Mushroom Kingdom. So let's leave out this exit. Mario! The Chancellor is waiting. We're going back now, right? No? Uh, no. Mario! The Chancellor must be worried sick about us. You saw him before. Come on, let's go. Nah. Mario! If we don't get the princess back, we'll be charged with kidnapping. Let's go. No. Mario! No one, no one is authorized to kidnap the princess except me. It just wouldn't be right. Let's take her back already. Forget it. Enough already! Oh, uh, that's pretty funny. So yeah, you can't actually go this way. I think the reason is, is they consider this the exit that goes to the next area, even though no matter what, it takes you to the world map. So they want you to leave out of this exit for some reason. And it actually just takes you straight back to the Mushroom Kingdom, too. Which is uh, pretty interesting. Nice little quick jump right there. Um, so before we do anything else, uh, I am going to go ahead and stop the video here. But before we do, um, if you talk to this guy right here, this is the guy that had the wallet that got stolen by Croco earlier in the game. Oh, it's good to see you back. Look what I found in the wallet you returned to me. It's yours, isn't it? So you actually get an extra frog coin, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, next episode, we'll actually uh, take Princess back to the castle and uh, finally wrap up the game-long objective that we've had from the very beginning. This has been Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.